This is the Christus Victor devotion for Saturday, October the 17th. My wife Lisa often rightly observes that I don't always pay attention well. If the TV or the radio is on, I have a difficult time paying attention to her sometimes. I like to quote Charles Emerson Winchester III from MASH who said, I do one thing, I do it well, and then I move on. <laughs> well, truth is, I don't multitask very well at all. I am not always good at giving my undivided attention. Do you have God's undivided attention? <laughs> Talk about multitasking. Does He notice when you are worried? When He has so much else to deal with? Does He see you in the midst of this world, worldwide pandemic? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. Listen to a bit of Psalm 33. In fact, it would be great to look it up and read it all. But verse 18 says this, Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, on those who hope in His steadfast love, that He may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. And I would add, pandemic. God has His eye on you, you have His undivided attention, believe it or not. That is an amazing thought. His purpose is always consistent, to deliver your soul from death. He sent Jesus to accomplish that saving at a cross. Do I have your attention now? God knows the situation you are in right now. He watches. He loves, He preserves, He forgives, He calls to Himself. Thanks be to God. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, You watch all that goes on in my life. You care and protect on a daily basis. Draw my undivided attention to Your cross and help me to know Your love always and in every circumstance. In Jesus' name, Amen. Emmanuel Lutheran Church has resumed on-site worship. We have social distancing practices in place as well as sanitation practices. When the time is right, uh, we'd love to have you in worship again on Saturday or Monday at 6 p.m. or on Sunday morning at 8 and 1045. Until then, uh, we have online worship available to you every Sunday morning. And of course, these daily devotions to keep you in the Word. And when the time is right, we'll see you in church. God bless.